when you open a Microsoft Word document that you receive through an email, it will open up in what's called Protected View. You'll notice a little yellow bar at the top and it'll say Protected View. This file was opened in Protected View. Click for more details. Now you can enable editing if you want. And the reason that Microsoft does this is because, well, you never know. An email might contain something that's not you know, that might have a virus. So they want you to specifically think about it before you enable editing. So you would have to just click enable editing and you would come to your screen where you could type on it and do whatever you wanted. And that's just one simple little thing I wanted to show you because I know many of you will open um, attachments from an email and when you see that yellow bar, you may wonder what it is. I also want to show you that when I go to save it, I can select save as and let me do that again. I went to File, Save As, and in the drop down arrow, in the Save As type right here, I hit the drop down arrow and I can save it back to an older version of Microsoft Office if I want. And this older version would end up with a period DOC at the end of the file name. The new Microsoft Office 2007 and 2010 open up with period DOCX. The X stands for XML because it's an XML formatted document. But also with the newer versions of Microsoft, you can now also save them as PDF documents, which is really, I like it. I've used it quite a few times. So I can say to save it as a PDF. Let me put it on my desktop so I remember where I put it. I'll save it as a PDF and here it is. So I can send this to other people and not have to worry that they do or don't have the right version of Microsoft Office or they even have Microsoft Office on their computer. It's in a PDF format and Adobe PDF is a free screen reader that anybody should be able to use whether they're using Macintosh computers or whether they're using um, PC computers. So that is a nice feature when you have to share stuff and not and you don't know if your people you're sharing with have Microsoft Office or what version they have and so forth. So two things to remember, protected view, you'll get a little yellow tab at the top, just click enable editing if in fact you trust that it's okay. And then also you can save it as a PDF or a variety of other sorts of documents.